This video tutorial from ExoCAD will show you how you can achieve a simple Smile Creator design completed in just a few steps. We will start with one of our demo samples. Note, the restoration type selected for this case is Anatomic Pontic with Composite as the material. The job definition includes Antagonist. Next, choose Design from the Action menu to start the CAD application. The software automatically starts a wizard that will guide you through all the work steps. Click on the Start Smile Creator button to start. We can proceed by only using the Smile image which is a faster approach, but we recommend the use of a retracted image as well to capture all the necessary information. Click on Load the Retracted Image and locate the image on your computer. As soon as you load a two-dimensional image, it will be converted to a 3D mesh and we do the 3D registration by setting two corresponding alignment points in three-dimensional space. Set two corresponding alignment points on each of the left and right images. The greater the distance you choose between the points, the better the scaling results will be. Proceed to Next. For 3D scan data, the view angle can be rotated by mouse right click and dragging. Fine tune the placement by moving the two points to correct image scaling and position. Drag and drop the image to pan. Note. The accuracy of this placement is not critical and is mainly for aesthetic preview. Proceed to Next. Load the Smile image. In the second step, we will match the converted 2D images. Set two corresponding alignment points on each of the left and right images. Proceed to Next. Fine tune the placement by moving the two points to correct image scaling and position. Proceed to Next. Draw a lip line to cut out the mouth. You can add points by mouse left click, using as many points as you require in order to fully capture all of the lip line. To close the line, double click and you can move the points by drag and drop. To remove, hold down the mouse left button and right click on the point. Proceed to the next step. In the helper step, it's important to start with the patient's right eye, then click on the patient's left eye. By default, the golden ratio will be shown. You can modify this ratio by choosing a different proportion guide from the drop down menu. Helper lines can be moved, scaled, and rotated by dragging and dropping their control points. Smile curves can be added to determine the boundaries of the smile. You can also add more helper lines using Add Lines and Curve. Proceed to Next. In Modeling step, Start by choosing a desired 3D tooth library from the list. Or use the arrows to navigate through the libraries. You can move the selected group, scale, or rotate the outlines from their control points. The middle right window shows the occlusal view in 3D. Any movement and adjustment will affect the teeth model and position in all the views. The upper right window shows the upper incisors view in 3D. Adjustments can be applied to a group or to each individual tooth. By selecting the mirror movements, symmetry will be preserved. You can easily move between windows to achieve the most desirable design. And the lower right window shows the side views in 3D. Open the freeforming dialog if further adjustments are required. You can choose Move Tooth Parts, hold and drag with the left mouse button to design. You can also choose Move Entire Tooth. 
More details will be shown in a separate video. If you change the outline view to preview, you can take advantage of viewing the full anatomic shape of the tooth models. Left and right middle control points scale without changing the midline. Top and bottom middle control points scale in one direction, and the corner control points scale in multiple directions. Click on the measurements button to display the measurements and ratio of each tooth. When you finish the tooth placement, proceed to the next step. In the preview step, we can improve the appearance of the teeth by adjusting the tooth colors. Select the shade from standard color presets. If the standard color selection still doesn't fit perfectly, select custom color selection to use a color picker. Use this tool to pick a tooth base color and a tooth highlight color from the image. Note, selections can be made from the before or after images. The final result can be copied as an image to the clipboard or saved as an image to a file in the current project folder. Select Done to finish the smile planning. A longer and more comprehensive tutorial is available in a separate video